it is day three. Today we're heading out into the countryside again. Wait for the coach. First of all, we're visiting the wine region of Montalcino. So there's going to be no wine tasting, unfortunately, with the bikes. That's one of the rules. No wine or alcohol during the day. Understandable. But we're going to go out. We could buy some wine, bring it back, maybe sample it this evening. And then we're heading out later on this afternoon to another medieval village. So I'll try and get the drone in the air. It's just about enjoying the bikes, enjoying the countryside. What I'm riding, I was hoping to get on the racer. I'm definitely getting on the MV7 racer today. I also want to get on one of the big ones like the California. A bit like the MGX, but without all the panniers and the screen. A bit more naked. Big crews are naked. I want to try those because I really enjoyed the MGX yesterday. I think I may have found my new uh, <laughs> biking guilty pleasure. So uh, let's go. I was really hoping to get on something a bit more exciting, but <laughs> I'm on the Milano V7. Nothing wrong with this bike, but I have ridden it before, so a bit annoying. I wanted to try something different. We'll have to make sure we swap with people today because, uh, yeah, I want to try the stuff I haven't tried. So let's see. But let's start off with the Milano. I know. I think it's just fog. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, so I've ridden a little... Milano before at the launch of this bike. I was lucky enough to get invited to the Guzzi factory and we did a day of riding around the mountains there. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm doing quite well with both the Guzzi, <laughs> if truth be told. But this is the Milano. This was my favourite. No, I think the rough I preferred the most actually. But this is nice because you've got the little extras. You've got the rev counter. It does seem a little bit archaic going back to a bike with no rev counter. The V7 is a great little platform. It handles exceptionally well. Runs out of ground clearance, you know, <laughs> which is a shame because if it didn't, it would be a really, really exceptionally good handling bike. It's just limited by ground clearance. The suspension is also pretty budget on these. You know, the, the, if you hit bumps, the bump management isn't great. It will give you a bit of a pounding. It comes with some electronics, obviously ABS. It has also got some traction control as well. The ABS is actually very good. It's quite a sophisticated system. It doesn't just lock the wheel like you know, a lot of basic systems do. It's actually got some refinement and you can, it will, now you've got to stand up and things like that or you will lose your testicles. Traction control, well, I think you'd struggle to invoke that having to do anything, but it has got it. These are all about torque. If you rev them past 4,000, it doesn't do a great deal. Everything is between two and three, between two and 4,000. That's your sweet spot. And the best thing about these bikes is a 21 litre fuel tank. 21 litres. You can literally ride all day on a single fill-up, as, as we did yesterday. It's got an incredible range potential on it, and it's, it's so frugal as well. That, I, I, the range is something like 200 miles on a tank. I think it's 200 miles plus. So as a, as a bike to do a bit of touring on, this sort of riding, bloody fantastic. Pescadovo de Merkel, I don't know. slamming his brakes on for. Come on, mate. Bing, 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 bing. We got him. I don't fancy being too up with that suspension. It's a little soft for two up. Oh, there's a foot peg. I mean, this isn't meant to be a peg scraping holiday. Let's just get that clear. But <laughs> when you've got roads like this, I can't help myself. Look at that. Wow. Sun's out, views are out. Beautiful. I think we've arrived at the the wine region. There's a few grapes. 
look at the views. Oh my word. Look at that. Ah, refreshments and a tour. Oh dear. Oh, someone's had a whoopsie. Best ice cream uh, in the uh, same. Um, 1,000 kilometers. <laughs> really? Well, really, I, can't, really. I can't say no to that then. He's a biker as well. Oh, too much choice. Gelato. Yeah. Oh, really? The whole thing, Well, great ride in this morning. We're now at Montecino Fortress behind me. Having a little tour of the of the town. Cut the power brake off the bike now. Walk around the town, but I think it's a perfect opportunity. Look at the view over here. We've got to get the drone out. Wow, look at that view. Let's crack out the drone. Sit and smell some wine. A little bit of wine it improves your riding, I reckon. It makes it more fluid. Yeah, yeah, definitely more fluid. So it's the oldest winery in town. Uh, we go back to 1571. It's definitely old school. What those ones? Yeah. yeah. So, lovely lunch. They kept bringing out courses. <laughs> as long as they sat at the table, the more food they just kept bringing out. So I had to come out. So I came out to do some uh, droning. But now I'm going to have a go on the racer, which is one they don't actually import into the UK anymore. I think they're looking to start reintroducing this again because this is... A lovely looking bike it's the v7 obviously but with olin's rear suspension different rear sets more of a sporty positioned rear sets and some clip-on so to give you a bit more of a racy feel so a bit like the suzuki uh, sv650x i'm hoping it's going to have that sort of more sporty racy feel sort of slightly crouched take a bit more weight off of your ass maybe because you'd be leant forward a little bit more so i think this is a, is it a limited edition bike yeah Number 124. I think they're numbered, all the races. And it even comes with a, a tank belt. Let's do it. Chrome tank is very nice. And the red emblems as well on the tank, on the racer. Numbered yoke. It's got the, like, the number, aluminium number board on the front as well. Black mirrors. But I do like this position. I think I'm going to like this. It's a footrest position, yeah. It's a bit further back, your feet. You're not sat bolt upright like you're in an armchair, which I'm actually, it's quite nice after riding all these upright bikes to actually have something with a bit, bit of a sporty stance. Let's get on the open road, because I need some air. So we've sat about, we've eaten too much. I'm not gonna be able to get in my jacket 
soon. The Italians do know how to do food. And motorcycles come to that. See, I'm hoping on these twisties, this riding position. Yeah, I can tell already it really brings the bike into its own more. Ah, we're going to get on for ground clearance is my only, my only concern. I'm having this guy. I'm having him. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. The loonies are in town. <laughs> I've been done myself. That cheeky, the cheeky beast. It's pointless really because you'll, you'll just get stuck at the front, not the back. Riding on these sorts of roads, this position makes perfect sense. It's such a good handling bike that it actually feels like you're sporting it up now. I must say, actually, that rear suspension, this has got the Olins on. And it is, you know, the, the standard V7, the rear suspension, well, and the front suspension does feel quite harsh. On this, I can definitely think we're, we're better damped. I'm not sure the front is any different. Maybe it is. But the rear definitely feels better damped. I guess that's no surprise because it's covered in orange and gold. <laughs> Everyone's keen, making swift progress. Oh, it'll still get you out of the seat though. That was a biggie. Look at that, absolutely stunning. We're not here already, surely. Surely that wasn't it. Oh, you're kidding me, is that it? Oh, Jesus. Was that it? Another stop. I've not even cooled down from lunch, you know, it's a very quick little run. The Tuscan Church. Amazing uh, scenery around here, it really is incredible. Scotsman in the sunshine, don't you guys melt? <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, well, that's vampires I'm thinking of. Forget the Scots invented the world, you just forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the Brits improved it. No combustion engine. No tarmac for the roads. No. That's, that's the Irish, isn't it? Did the tarmac? Right? I can't be Scottish, mate. This is your problem. Just give you a mixed stop. Even your greatest leader, Winston Churchill, said, quote unquote, the Scots uh, as a nation have given more to the world than any other nation. Did he really? Read his quotes. Oh, we'll, we'll take your word for it for now. He was a drinker though, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he did like a tipple. That's your next PM, uh, Boris. He's your next PM. He's like, aye. But sure, it was the Irish now, these are the No, no, these guys were uh, too busy planting spuds. <laughs> couldn't even grow spuds. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Telephone, television, do I need to keep going on, guys? It's part of the fire today. Five ice creams a day. Uh, could I go for.